in a very close proximity such that we make these birdie opportunities rather than just uh, par opportunities. That's terrible. That was pretty good. Though. The 2015 season saw Jordan and I really prioritize improvements in his wedge performance. That leads to us doing this exercise wedgeways very frequently, such that we do it from 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80 yards. He'd have to hit all four trajectories, landing them plus or minus two yards from his intended target, and he can complete that in four, at the most five shots per yardage. Let's see how I do. Let's start with a low one. Low trajectory, I'm going to move the ball back in my stance. My handle moves forward such that I reach impact with this loft looking down so the ball launches lower. I'm going to really try and drive in there low, land it just short of the flag, and have a hop and stop quite close. Ball two is a medium trajectory. I'm going to go from a back ball position to slightly further forward. And as I move that ball slightly further forward, the shaft is going to meet at impact a little bit more vertical and that ball's gonna bounce up in the air a little higher. High trajectory, I'm gonna widen my stance out just a little bit. The ball moves even more forward in my stance. And then as I'm coming to impact, my club head is allowed to work underneath the handle such that the loft of the club is increased at impact and the ball bounces more vertical up in the air. Landed right at pin high. Now lastly, the super high shot that we can call the flop shot, it's going to be an even more aggressive. We're going to move the ball further forward again. We're going to open up the loft of the club face, widen our stance, and then during the swing, we're going to let that club head work underneath the handle really aggressively. So the loft of the club is sliding under the ball and bouncing that ball straight up into the sky. That's wedgeways for the recreational player. I'd like to see you hit four different trajectories, all able to hold the screen. Then we'll try to dial in the difficulty just a little bit by expecting that you can land your ball in a really close proximity to one another, such that we turn these into scoring opportunities for perhaps birdies, rather than just trying to make pars. Let's see how you do on wedgeways.